let's examine problem 313a it's a perpetuity question the good news is the math of perpetuities is less complicated than much of the math we've been doing the present value of a perpetuity is uh, the cash flow the recurring cash flow divided by the discount rate that's it so uh comparing it to an annuity formula fairly simple uh let's jump into the question you want to start a scholarship that will award the winning student with a two thousand dollar with two thousand dollars each year the scholarship will be awarded to a new student every year in perpetuity the first scholarship will be awarded one year from now and the discount rate is seven percent how much do you need to donate today to fund the scholarship okay so it's two thousand divided by 0.07 2000 divided by 0.07 it's 28571 28571 that's how much you would have to donate today and the idea here is if you donate exactly 28571 and it grows by 7% well let's do some math 28571 times 0.07 Look at that, you get $2,000. So you can just let the money grow by $2,000, then skim the $2,000 off the top to pay the scholarship, and then you're back to 28,571, and it's gonna grow another $2,000. And the idea is you can just do this in perpetuity. So that's what makes a perpetuity a perpetuity. Um, not that you'd ever wanna do this, but to enter a perpetuity into a financial calculator, again, the formula is so simple, but I know some folks will come to rely on their financial calculators. Here's how you do it. Uh, you just go uh, 2000 as your PMT, your recurring payment. You go seven as your IY. Uh, you go, uh, no, this is the tricky part. N is forever. So I just put like a billion, <laughs> you know, a billion years from now is your N. And then you compute PV, 28571. You can see 28571, it's the same answer. So just wanted to show that, you know, you could do this in a financial calculator. You just put a billion as the time frame, and it works out to the same. Um, okay, suppose you wanted the scholarship to commence five years from today. Uh, the first payout to be five years from today, it means you've got a discount. So, so it's the same formula. So, okay, so let me read the question. Suppose you wish for the scholarship to commence five years from today. How much would you need to donate today to fund the scholarship? So, Remember, we need 28571 at the beginning of this year. So we pay it out at the end of the year because it's going to grow by 2000. And that's what makes this a perpetuity. So we actually need this 28571 to be in place four years from now in order to start paying out the perpetuity five years from now. So I need 28571 four years from now. How much money do I need to put away today that's going to grow at 7% to get to 28,571 four years from now? That's the question. And here's the math. You go 28,571 divided by 1.07 to the fourth, right? It's just a present value of a lump sum. So uh, it's, you know, this formula, right? Uh, PV times 1 plus R to the T equals FE. Well, we know our FE. We want 28,571 to be in place four years from now, not five, because again, it's got to grow to uh, grow by 2000 uh, to pay the scholarship at the end of the year. Um, okay, so in this circumstance, we know our FE is 28,571. We know one plus R to the T is 1.07 to the fourth, and we don't know our PV. That's how much we got to put away today. So that's how we sort of rearrange to get to here. 1.07 to the power of 4 is 1.31. I'm going to go 1 over x times 28571 to do the math there. Oh, no, I messed up. 1.07 to the 4. 1 over x times 28571. I wonder what I clicked wrong in my calculator there. There we go, 21,797. So I need to put away 21,797 today 
it's going to grow in some, you know, investment account for uh, four years. At the start of year five, I'll have 21, uh, 28,571 put away. It'll grow by two grand. We'll trim the two grand off the top, pay our first student, and do that in perpetuity. There we have it. We've solved 313A. As always, I hope these videos are helping. And if they're helping you, I hope you'll consider helping me by hitting one of those two buttons. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now.